This morning, a tropical shower shrouded Kilauea, but within the mist, the volcano was still spitting fire. For five days, Kilauea's cauldron has churned without pause, spouting up to 120 feet, then cascading out across the big island in a red river. More than 100,000 cubic yards an hour, a wall of molten rock 20 feet thick and in places 900 feet wide, flowing up to 20 miles an hour. Last night, this spectacle of nature became a specter of destruction. For the third time this year, the lava flow had reached into the remote development called Royal Gardens. Firefighters on the ground and in the air tried to put out hot spots as the 2,000 degree flow set the forest ablaze. Dozens of residents evacuated. Just before dark, an offshoot of the flow oozed across a road, stopping just short of one house, while the main flow, heading for another home, suddenly veered away and came to a halt. This morning, more bad news. About a mile up the mountain, a new offshoot of the main flow began. If it becomes the active channel, then uh, a, a new threat to the subdivision exists. So, for the moment at least, Royal Gardens appears to be safe. But scientists are carefully watching that new offshoot of the lava flow, knowing that there are no signs that an end is near to the fire in Kilauea's belly. Judd Rose, ABC News, on the Kilauea Volcano in Hawaii.